Okay, so good afternoon, everyone. In the name of uh, Oxin Surgery, we would like to warmly welcome all of you of this webinar on the benefit of the CADIS system in middle ear surgery. My name is Valerie Gordon. I'm the Chief Scientific Officer for Oxin Surgery and pleased to introduce our today's moderators, Dr. Marta Sandoval and Dr. Ignacio Javier Fernandez. Dr. Sandoval is Associate Professor and ENT Specialist at the ENT Department of the Hospital Clinic of Barcelona. Dr. Sandoval practices all kinds of middle ear surgery with extended experience in revision surgery and chronic otitis media. Dr. Sandoval is using the CADIS system since more than two years. Dr. Fernandez is an ENT specialist in the ORL head and neck surgery and assistant professor at the Bologna University Hospital. Dr. Fernandez is a collaborator of Professor Prezzuti. Uh, Dr. Fernandez do does research in uh, ORL, otology, neurotology, facial nerve disorders, and he has an experience of three years with the chemically assisted dissection in middle ear surgery. Uh, thanks a lot to both of you for your participation to this. Uh, so the content of this uh, webinar will be shared in three sections. I will start the presentation by a description of the CADIS system and its mechanism of action. And then I will leave the floor to our moderators for the introduction of the two lectures. A Q&A session will be organized immediately after each lecture. Uh, just for your information, the webinar is uh, recorded uh, for you and order of your colleagues to review it later on. And all the questions can be addressed via a Q&A or discussion uh, button. So the CADIS system. Uh, the CADIS system, I'm sorry. The CADIS system is a novel method of selective dissection with a unique mechanism of action. The method makes possible the mechanical dissection of pathological tissues along the cleavage plane without arming surrounding organs. The CADIS system combines a concomitant topical application of a solution of the drug substance MESNA with the application of a mechanical separation force via an irrigated non-cutting mechanical dissectors. The MESNA solution is delivered at the distal end of the mechanical instrument at the exact location of the dissection field. The MESNA solution installation and blunt mechanical dissection are also achieved by the same surgical instrument. The use of the CADIS system is safe, clinically validated in several critical dissection in different surgical fields, and present a very quick learning curve for two reasons, the first one being that this system is uh, easy to use, and the second being that the fact uh, that this system does not require a modification of your current practice. So the MESNA drug substance is well known. Uh, the drug substance is on the market since more than 20 years in different indications. The selective dissection of the CADIS system is based on the chemical action of the MESNA, which act via a disruption of disulfide bonds. So the disulfide bonds are responsible of the structure of the collagen fibers, which are the major component of the connective tissue. And the disruption of the disulfide bonds reach to a destructuration of the adhesive layer between the healthy and the pathological tissue, reducing the adherences and facilitating the removal of this pathological tissue at the cleavage plane with the healthy tissue. The formulation of the MESNA solution has been optimized for surgical application in terms of concentration, pH, hypertonicity of the solution. The proof of principle of the chemically assisted dissection is already firmly established in different surgical application all involving critical dissection. And the main clinical benefit of this uh, CADIS system are a selective weakening of the adherences, leading to a facilitation of the dissection with blunt instruments and allowing a reduction of damage or a reduction of the risk of damage to healthy tissue, and consequently to a reduction of the risk of side effect and perioperative complication. 
It allows as well an unblocked withdrawal of pathological tissue, leading to uh, reducing the risk of relapse. Regulatory rise, the CADIS system is a class three medical device. It is uh, registered on the European market since 2019. And we have right now two approved indications, one in musculoskeletal surgery and one in hair surgery. In the, musculosc in the musculoskeletal surgery, the type of application are the revision spine surgery for the removal of fibrosis, Dupuytren disease, stenolysis, and neurolysis. Uh, in terms of uh, safety, so uh, the, as mentioned earlier, the CADIS system is a well-known, or the MESNA solution is a well-known drug substance already used in IV and oral uh, administration. The local toxicity of the MESNA, uh, on, on the local toxicity aspect, the MESNA does not damage the tissue and the organs like uh, nerve tendons and RC organs. And the only major contraindication in um, here surgery is the uh, surgery implying uh, in the brain. Uh, regarding the portfolio, the CADIS system is declined into two presentations. So we have a manual kit and we have a remote kit. In both of them, you will find a cartridge. The cartridge contains the MESNA solution obtained by reconstitution by a very simple manipulation. And the instrument, irrigated instruments, are connected to the cartridge via a tubing, combined with a manual or remote pump. The manual pump, which is named dispensing system, is directly connected to the instrument and controlled via the thumb. The remote uh, system involves a pump, which is controlled by the feet. Regarding the instruments, uh, they are very similar to the non-irrigated version, meaning again that you do not have to adapt your surgical technique. So this is for the presentation of the CADIS system. And before leaving the floor to the moderator for the introduction of the lectures, I would like to ask to uh, Dr. Sandoval and Dr. Fernandez to already share a bit of uh, your expertise with the chemically assisted dissection. So on which specific application uh, of your middle ear surgical practice do you use this chemically assisted dissection? So Dr. Sandoval, I don't want if you, I do not know if you want to start. Sure. Good afternoon, everybody. And thank you for inviting me to this such a, a promise uh, webinar. I have been, as you said, using the uh, CADI system since three years ago, and my main uh, use of you know, this product is mostly in adhesive otitis media with retraction pockets, uh, where the uh, epithelium of the tympanic retracted is very well lifted up with the help of CADIS. And on the other hand, of course, cholesteatoma surgery. In cholesteatoma surgery, you can either use it in primary surgery, which is uh, in the virgin cholesteatoma, because as uh, Valerie said, the bones that there are between the matrix of the cholesteatoma and the bone are easily uh, removed with the help of the CADIS. But uh, the gold standard for me of the CADIS system is the recurrence cholesteatoma as its benefits are for uh, not only for the matrix of the cholesteatoma itself attached to the bone and the surrounding structures, but mostly and more important for the fibrous tissue that we find in this recurrence cholesteatoma. Not only the matrix of the cholesteatoma, but the fibrous tissue from previous surgery. Thank you, Dr. Sandoval. Dr. Fernandez, if you want to share your preliminary expertise with the chemically assisted dissection. Yes. Uh... I I am agree uh, with uh, Dr. Sandoval. Um, I, I I like to use uh, this device and chemical assisted uh, dissection of of the, of the cholesterol matrix, uh, particularly in the uh, involvement of the stapes and uh, when there is a, a fistula of the labyrinthine fistula is very. Uh, it's very useful uh, uh, in order to avoid uh, excess, uh, excessive uh, uh, force, uh, excessive uh, pressure on the, on the fistula, uh, avoiding damage of the inner ear. Uh, and another indication 
one may be in extensive cholecytoma with infiltra infiltrating matrix on the dura when there is uh, when there is uh, erosion of the tegment and uh, infiltra uh, 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 infiltration of the dura. Uh, these are, for me, the main indications uh, of uh, chemically assisted dissection. Of course, in uh, I, I use it to. Uh, to practice also endoscopic ear surgery. And in endoscopic ear surgery, uh, I uh, sometimes I use it uh, for uh, extensive cholestatoma in the retro tympanum, uh, uh, as the, the system uh, helps very uh, a lot in dissecting this uh, this uh, uh, this part of the of the inner ear of the middle ear. Okay, th thanks a lot, thanks a lot. So, uh, Dr. Sandoval, the floor is yours for the introduction of the, oh no, sorry, it's uh, the opposite. Um, Dr. Fernandez, the floor is yours for the introduction of the first lecture. Yes, I'm pleased to, uh, to introduce uh, Professor Covelli from uh, uh, La Sapienza University of Rome, uh, and he's going to speak about uh, um, VUP uh, scanning electron microscopy surface analysis uh, to evaluate syst uh, CADIS system effects on cholestatoma affected in Guzmón. Yes, uh, thank you very much for the presentation. Uh, this is my presentation. Okay. Good afternoon. Thank you very much for this presentation. And thank you very much for the possibility to participate in this uh, webinar. Uh, today, I will uh, speak about the variable pressure scanning electron uh, microscope surface analysis evaluated CAD this system effect on cholecytoma affected in bone. This work started to collaboration between the um, department uh, of Sant'Andrea Sapienza and the anatomy department of Sapienza. Cholestatoma is a skin where in the wrong place, is a being behind disease characterized by erosive action on the middle ear structures. Clinical manifestation is uh, otorrhea, hearing loss, uh, conductive, sensory neural and mix. Uh, clinical manifestation is uh, otorrhea, hearing loss, uh, conductive sensory neural and mix, vertigo and fascial palsy. Uh, the um, surgery is the gold standard for the chronic uh, otitis media with cholestatoma. The objective is uh, eradicate disease, uh, uh, trying to minimize recurrency rates, restore, preserve hearing, remodeling ossicular for use torp or porp, even in the same surgery session. Uh, before this, uh, this work that we present today, uh, the collaboration start uh, two years ago, and we published two works uh, about uh, to, uh, between the, our department, the Department of Anatomy, to assisting morphological aspect of the ossicular chain, in particular, incus and stapedial, uh, stapedial, stapedial malleal joint through so scanning electrode microscope in patients who underwent surgery for chronic osteitis media with cholesterol. And um, one moment, because I imagine that you didn't see very well in the complete. Uh, this is first work that uh, uh, expressed uh, finding the incus malaria joint. Uh, we identified the cells, in particular the presence of microvilli. It's a new phenotype similar to respiratory or urinary area. The second work uh, identify on the incus the area where erosion immediate, uh, mediated of osteoclast. This is an incus that we see this hole to create uh, uh, to create this hole uh, during the incus and uh, after this work we decided to continue the, our experience uh, and during this uh, this work uh, we decided to evaluate uh, through the scanning electron microscope the presence of residual cholestatoma tissue over the incus removed during the tympanoplasty after 
adopting different dissection technique in order to use them again for the reconstruction phase of cycloplasty and reduction recurrence rate. Between January 2021 and October, to October 20, 2021, 11 incus removed in the patient affected by uh, chronic otitis media we call estatoma. We evaluate and divide in two groups according in the, to the dissection performed in the randomized. We uh, use uh, six, six incus. Uh, uh, Six incus. Now you see, sorry, because uh, I imagine that uh, now you see the, the presentation. This is okay. Okay. Um, according to the dissection, we divide in two groups. Six incus uh, were uh, uh, cleaned by the manual dissection, and six incus treated by manual dissection and CAD system. Uh, the aim to uh, uh, assess the effectiveness of uh, CADIS uh, clear procedure versus conventional um, versus conventional dissection, and to evaluate by the um, by the uh, my scanning electron microscope the residual pathological tissue. We see before that the CADIS system uh, used the MESNA permit to reduce the adherence for the tissue. The MESNA divided this uh, uh, disulfuric building, the adherence between the tissue and the, the bone. Uh, this is uh, the kits, uh, kit that uh, we have the sterile area is more easy to use during the surgical procedure. Uh, this is an external part that the MESNA inside. The, our uh, objective to uh, evaluate manual dissection versus manual dissection with chemical assisted dissection and evaluate where is the results and the percentage of the cholestatoma on the incus. This is a um, flow chart that uh, the uh, anatomy uh, propose. Uh, um, after the after the fixation with the glutaral dead 2.5 washing the other fixa, other fixation after this the observation by the variable pressure scanning electron microscope and after this to use the software that identify the the, the precise percentage uh, the images that uh, are analyzed though to you to different types of electrodes in particular secondary electrodes and black scattered electrodes in different evaluation. The first image, images obtained though the secondary electrodes are the typical images that represent surface morphology, morphology of the same. In the second images obtained by, with the black scattered electrodes provide uh, pictures uh, of uh, the chemical composition of the sample in the terms of the heavier component white and the light component black. After this, uh, we evaluate uh, the, the, the white is uh, clear and the black is present, the inflammatory or the, or the cholesteatoma. This is the um, control group and the CADIS that uh, permit uh, with the secondary electrodes and black scattered electrodes uh, the different situation and in uh, these uh, uh, images permit to evaluate uh, with the black scattered electrodes the big difference between uh, between the um, between the um, uh, CADIS and control uh, in, in uh, these uh, in these pictures uh, I hope that you see uh, we notice that uh, the the white area after the control group is is big is not big is very little compared to the with the incus treated with the cadis after this uh, the uh, the anatomy department evaluate a software to analyze the quantitative measure um, between the clear area and the uh, black area clear area where is the uh, we remove very well 
the, the, the situation uh, the situation by uh, the cholesteatoma and black area, the situation where is not uh, clear. This is a result that demonstrate uh, uh, between the, uh, the free area and total area in the control group and caddis group, uh, the, with the results and the significantly greater than the conventional treated sample. What does it mean that uh, the caddis reduce the percentage of the cholesterol in 25-30% of uh, incus that we treated. This uh, uh, message permitted to demonstrate that uh, this uh, uh, evaluation gives a good result to, demo to evaluate where is the area that uh, is present uh, the cholesterol or inflammatory tissue compared to the area that is clear. Uh, this is uh, very important for the possible to reconstruction or reuse uh, during the surgical procedure. Uh, we, um, we propose uh, the possible uh, analysis, instantan analysis. What does it mean? That uh, during the, the, surgical, the surgical operation, we remove washing, uh, evaluate uh, if the, the, the anatomy is near, uh, evaluate what is the area that is present more clear compared to the other one. And after this, uh, we sterilize, sterilize uh, it's possible to reimplant. Obviously, that this situation is more complicated because uh, 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 it's important that uh, the evaluation and uh, the, um, the clear, the, 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 the surgical procedure is near. Uh, this is a, a first study even performed with this technique where incus is not much manipulated in order to get cleared. It's a preliminary finding the same as to enlarge to confirm the first assessment and provide the valid data. These results show 25-30% clear of the incus we treated with the caddis compared to the manual dissection. Uh, and, and to conclude, I would like to express the possibility to use this, uh, um, this uh, evaluation, this, uh, the CADIS system be, in, during the surgical procedure and permit to evaluate with, the, uh, with variable pressure scanning electron microscope, where is the area that is clear very well compared to the area is not clear very well. And this helped to clear during the second moment to prepare the incus for to reuse during the surgical procedure and reduce the, the recurrence during the, during the surgical procedure. I don't know why. But I... I think that uh, your presentation uh, is very, very clear. I understand uh, your very well your study. Uh, I, I have one one answer uh, for uh, for this uh, study. It, uh, the manual dissection uh, um, performed in in these cases was made by uh, using the the bar uh, or drill. Or, or you use it or only uh, the sectors to remove the, the 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 surface tissue on the on the incus. Now in this case we didn't use the drill. We use okay. only, only the the manual dissection with the, the dissection, and we uh, consider uh, clear uh, by the microscope the situation. Uh, obviously, uh, this uh, it's a uh, for for us uh, is clear, but uh, the results demonstrate that uh, is not clear. When you use the caddis, uh, the, the, the clear area is more, is more big. Okay, thank you. We have, we have received uh, several questions uh, for you, uh, Professor Covelli. So uh, the first question is, could you elaborate a bit on the clinical benefit for the patient to uh, reuse the incus bone for the ossicular chain reconstruction in comparison to other techniques? 
in, in this uh, in this presentation didn't express this uh, this uh, results i we will propose to reuse uh, the the cellular plastic after this treatment but uh, uh, in the future we decide to use this okay there is an uh, another an Another question, could you elaborate on the safety profile of the CADIS system in your study? Sorry, I didn't hear you. Um, there is another question for, uh, from the audience. Uh, could you elaborate on the safety profile of the CADIS system in your study? Yes, that we use. So no, no, uh, there, there were any issue with safety. Uh, the, the, you, none of the patients had uh, complications uh, by using CADI system. No, we didn't use, we didn't have any complication with the patient that we treated with the CADI system. Uh, in general, uh, these patients in, that we use the CADIS uh, and the patient that we not use the CADIS uh, uh, didn't have any complication, but in general, we decided to uh, evaluate uh, the patient uh, with the MRI after one month, six months, and one year to evaluate where is present uh, 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 a possible residual or reactivity of pathology. Uh, and, then, and then we will decide to evaluate if the patient we treated with the CADIS, uh, we have a reduced number of possible to, to reactivation of problem. Okay, so you use uh, such a, uh, uh, a very, uh, very frequent uh, analysis with MRI after one month and, and after six months. In general, we publish uh, an article and uh, we, we propose <clears throat> this new uh, protocol for the radiological evaluation to evaluate the patient after treated with the cholesterol surgery uh, with the MRI after one month. Uh, before to evaluate, yes, I imagine, uh, uh, for to evaluate that is present area that we uh, residual is present. This uh, gives the possibility to propose a re-evaluation the surgery with the, when the, the cholesterol is very little. Okay, okay. Um, and there is another uh, question from, uh, from the audience. Uh, could you share more information on your in vivo trial? Do you plan a follow-up uh, period in the study? No, now the, the follow-up is very little because uh, um, we, we, we will start this uh, in this uh, one here that we start this, this uh, work. And the, the follow-up is very big, it was very little. My opinion is very now we didn't have didn't have a, a big experience about the, the follow-up for the patient that treated with the caddies. Okay, thank you. So the, the floor is uh, for you, uh, Dr. Sandoval. Now, thanks a lot, Professor Covelli, for the presentation. Good afternoon. I'm very pleased uh, to introduce in this uh, webinar two uh, colleagues from Poland, Professor Gabewski, who is the head of the Cochlear Implant and Bone Anchorage Hearing Aid Program at the, e at the ENT Clinic in Poznan. He's an um, um, ENT specialist at this hospital and professor at the Poznan University of Medical Sciences and his main interests are uh, middle ear surgery, cholesteatoma, and a, a cochlear implantation and, and, and bone anchoring hearing aids. And on the other hand, I would like to introduce you as well, Dr. Anna Bat Bartajowska, who is also working at the same hospital and at the same university in Poznan, University of Medical Sciences. She is an ENT specialist, and her main interests are as well middle ear surgery and cholesteatoma, as well as head and neck surgery. 
both of them have their PhD at that same university. And uh, they are uh, now uh, working together in this study that they will report uh, information about. So the uh, floor is yours uh, from uh, Professor Gavevsky and Dr. Anna Bart Bartachowska. They will speak now uh, about their experience on the CADI system in recurrent cholesteatoma. We have been working together in this trial and I'm very, very uh, interested in hearing them to see their experience uh, working with the CADI system. And um, this, uh, this Poznan University uh, Hospital has a lot of experience. They do a lot of cholesteatoma surgeries. I'm sure they will let us know per year. They told me once when we first met that I don't recall. So they will tell us they have a lot of experience and they do a lot of middle ear surgery in their hospital. So their experience is wide. Uh, we will uh, read the, as long as, as when, whenever you are ready, Professor Gavevsky. Yes. So good afternoon. Uh, thank you very much for the invitation. It is a great pleasure to be here with you. Uh, the goal of our presentation would be to show our preliminary results uh, of using CADIS uh, in patients with recurrent cholestatoma uh, treated surgically in our uh, department. Um, at the beginning, uh, let me introduce the place we work and conduct the project. Uh, it is a department of, uh, of over a hundred year tradition. Uh, the main profile of our clinical and scientific um, activity is based on autosurgery, uh, but we also uh, deal with head and neck oncology, reconstructive surgery, laryngology and phonosurgery, rhinology and skull-based surgery. As you can see, we perform about 250 uh, surgeries devoted to chronic otitis media a year. And in that, in that number, about 100 to 150 um, cholestatoma uh, procedures. Um, how did it happen that we are in the project? So um, in February last year, we are invited to, by Oxin Surgery to join an academic trial conducted in Barcelona by, uh, by Dr. Sandoval. It took almost six months for us to, to prepare all formalities, uh, to, to get all consents, um, to prepare a database in English. Uh, then we had two online meetings with Oxin Surgery, with ENT Clinic in Barcelona uh, to, to determine the details of the research. And finally, uh, in July, we, we recruited and operated on the first patient. Uh, the last surgery uh, took uh, place uh, at the beginning of March this year, which means that uh, we want to monitor our patient for at least one year. Uh, so uh, uh, we will have our final results uh, probably on April or May uh, next year. Uh, so far, we've recruited 20 patients with recurrent cholestatoma. Uh, 10 of them were operated on with CADIS system, um, and that's the study group. And uh, 10 of them were operated on without CADIS, and that's the, the control group. Uh, database was prepared in Barcelona, so uh, we only uh, have uh, the, the version that was translated into English. Uh, and please have a look what kind of information uh, do we gather. So epidemiological data like age and sex, so, uh, symptoms reported by patients like hearing loss, autorea, vertigo with the time of, uh, of its duration, uh, number of previous surgeries, uh, pure tone audiometry results. Uh, we have also information from COMQ12 uh, questionnaire. Uh, and of course, surgical data like uh, cholestatoma characteristics, uh, easiness of this section of, of cholestatoma, surgery time, uh, surgical technique. Um, we gathered the information about an approach used, type of mastoidectomy, uh, reconstruction, and any complications. 
Uh, and we, of course, uh, have some information about CADIS uh, technique, uh, including number of injections and volume of MESNA solution uh, used in, in every patient. So please have a look at our um, results. Okay, hello, good afternoon. So these are our results. You can see our groups, CADIS groups and, and control group. Uh, you can see that the groups are generally similar, but the patients were, were recruited in a random way. So the mean age is similar, uh, 25 years for the CADIS group, and uh, sorry, 45 years for CADIS group and 43 for control group. Uh, you can see our proportion of, of, uh, of uh, female and male. Uh, the symptoms here, hearing loss in nearly all cases, otorrhea and of course in all the cases. In two cases of the CADIS group, there was vertigo. Uh, all the patients, have, of course, had some previous surgeries uh, between one to four in the CADIS group and one to five in control group. Uh, you can see our pure tone audiometry results for the bone conduction and for the ear conduction. Uh, so, uh, surgical results, the type of cholestatoma, um, in most of cases in both groups, uh, it was an infiltrated cholestatoma. Uh, you can see the exact location, uh, which regions, according to STEM classification, were, uh, were uh, involved by, by the cholestatoma. You can see the stages of our patients. So we can see that in the CADIS group, most of the patients were in the stage two and in control group, uh, both in stage one and stage two, the same, the same number. Uh, easiness, easiness of dissection, it was one of the parameters which was evaluated in our study. So we can see that in the CADIS group, uh, most of, uh, in most of uh, cases, uh, the dissection of cholestatoma was, was easy or intermediate. But in control group, uh, the section was rather intermediate and, and difficult. So it is our first observation that with study system, the, the section is, is really, really easier. We, we can see it. Uh, time of surgery, you can see that in CADIS group, it is a little longer. It is uh, probably because of some preparation of the system and because of some waiting time to, for the, for the uh, act. Uh, um, action of this of the of this uh, of this solution uh, surgical technique uh, you can see our our techniques so so uh, transcanal and auricular approach uh, types of mastoidectomies most of cases uh, 70 percent percent in both groups it was canal wall up technique 30 percent canal wall down uh, reconstruction uh, usually meringoplasty and uh, no complications. We have not observed any complications and any problems during surgeries. Uh, in this CADIS group, uh, we have used the system with a, with a remote pump, with, with, uh, which was started by the food. And you can see this number and total, total volume MESNA of MESNA, which was used during surgery. So it was between 60, uh, 16 to 40 milliliters. For 40, it is a maximal volume which is available. And here we have a short film from our surgery. I hope it will work. Maybe it is not so short; it's five minutes, so so maybe it is still too long for for this for this webinar. But I will I, I would like to show you how we use uh, Mesna with this uh, special dedicated instrument, uh, how we uh, prepare cholestatoma, and how we inject MESNA. So we can see uh, we inject some portion of MESNA and try to prepare in the MESNA environment like this. Okay, I will maybe go further. So you can see the preparation. Of course, it is, uh, it is the left ear, uh, some antromastoidectomy uh, is performed and from, uh, from from uh, from Dura, so we, we had such situation here that Dura was was a little exposed. So we used Mesna, and it uh, made uh, the preparation, the dissection, uh, easier. Okay, so you can see how we do it with this instrument. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, and we will take, we will, uh, we decided to, to, uh, to remove the main mass of cholesterol in this case here to, to cut it off, to take it out. Uh, you can see it is, it is completely separated from, from surrounding bone. So as a first step, we have removed the main mass of cholesterol And then we will continue our surgery. Or you can see it here. And then we, we, we have continued our surgery. We, we used MESNA. To, to with this uh, dedicated uh, surgical instrument to remove cholestatoma from epitympanum, uh, from the region of the fascial nerve, from uh, the region of stapes, uh, as you can see it here. And also transcanal. Okay. You can see at the end of surgery, there, that here is, is, is clean now. We have just uh, removed some, some, uh, some tissue, which we are not sure uh, about this character. It's probably some scars or some mucosa, but we also remove it at the end of surgery. So now the ear looks, I think, very nice. It is completely free of, of cholestatoma. Okay. Uh, so we are waiting for our outcomes, which will be after one year. So we have to, to wait to, to the next year. Um, so the one year follow up is a minimum to, to, to check, especially the effectiveness of, of MESNA in, in, uh, in the reduction of risk of, of, of recurrence of cholestatoma. So we will measure the cholestatoma recidivism rate. Uh, both clinically and in the special protocol in the MRI, uh, DWI non API. Of course, we will compare audiological results by pure tone audiometry. Of, and of course, we will report uh, surgical benefits or disadvantages of using CADI system. And here you can see our first observations, first impressions. So uh, we are sure, in our opinion, that CADI is easy to, to use, this first. Uh, it significantly facil facilitates the section of cholestatoma in our observation. We have not observed any adverse, any negative reactions. Maybe one remark is that we had the instrument like this for resection with this tip like this. And in our opinion, this tip is not so comfortable uh, because it is too soft and it is not angulated as it should be in our opinion. So in our opinion, uh, tip should be less flexible and curve and 45 degrees. We have modified this angulation by, by ourselves. So as you can see in this film that it is angulated here, but it was originally like this, which is, we think not very comfortable. So, so, so this one is, is better. And this also, thank you for your attention. Thank you, thank you very much, Professor Gabelski and, Prof and Dr. Batajowska. Uh, we enjoyed very much the video and your explanations and the uh, analysis. So uh, first of all, I would like to uh, discuss about the questions from the audience. And uh, the first question uh, to uh, Professor Gabelski is, you have included cholesteatoma stage of one and two, stage one and two of the cholesteatoma. Yes. Will you be confident using the CADI system as well in more serious cases as grade three or four? Uh, of course, uh, we think it is, it, is, it, is, it is good, especially in more advanced cancers, it, may, it, it can be valuable here. Uh, however, we, 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 uh, we didn't have such cases in this, uh, in this time here with the current cholestatoma because we have some uh, time limit because we have joined to the study uh, with some delay in, 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 in comparison to your department. So we have a few months just to collect our patients. And this time we have patients with, with stage one or two. But of course, if we have more advanced cases, uh, we can use MES now, of course, yes. Well, we must, we must remember that uh, cholesteatoma is not suitable to be used intracranially. So in those cases where there is an affection of uh, cholesteatoma intracranially, it's, con it's contraindicated the installation of caddies. So I would say probably in some complicated cases, yes, but when there might be um, uh, suspicion 
of intracranial invasion or intradural invasion, I will avoid the caries uh, use. No? But if you have cholestatum in stage four, for example, with the brain upstairs, you yes. can remove cholestatum from the ear using caddies and then evacuate the uh, abscess. Of course, all the all the uh, working time in the middle ear or in yes. the nostoid or in the, even in the petros um, bone, uh, we have done a case with a petros bone invasion with caddies and we had no any problem. But uh, as long as the system, uh, as long as the uh, this section has to be done intracranially, so we completely agree with that. So we are very careful close to the dura. We know on the one hand that it uh, enables to separate cholestatum from the dura because there are some scars, but mm -hmm. we try to do it not so long, just to, to remove and, and clean with the saline solution. Okay. We are not sure about, 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 about the safety here, so we are very, very delicate in this region. And, and, well, and as long as, uh, in my experience, in as long as tegment tympani is quite usual in cholesteatoma surgery and most in cholesteatoma recurrence, I have had several cases with cholesteatoma recurrence and tegment tympani dehiscence, and I had had no any problem at all. No problem. Mm -hmm. So this links with the next questions from the audience is, uh, which is, what is your usual waiting time between caddis installation and mechanical dissection, if there is any? Uh, yes, I know there should be, but as you know, for surgeon, it's the most difficult part of surgery is waiting time. So we only always want to go further. So uh, we usually wait sometimes a few minutes. Yes, we wait, but as I have shown- How many you, minutes? How many minutes? Uh, Minimum. Three, three to five minutes, I think. Something yeah, yeah. between this. Mm -hmm. But as I have shown in our film that we inject Mesna and during this, we, we work. We still work. So we are working in Mesna environment. So mm -hmm. we don't just um, uh, sit down and wait with your arms. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. I know what you mean. Yes. So we are working at the same time. Mesna is in one area. We are separating in another one. So, so, so we try to do like this. Okay. So the next question is: Is there any differences of the impact of the Cali system according to the surgical technique, mainly the approach? So is there any mm -hmm. difference of the impact of the CADI system according to the surgical technique, which means, will you change your surgical technique, mostly your approach, depending on using CADIs or not? Uh, I don't think so. Maybe in some cases who are at the border, canal wall up or canal wall down. You know, there are some cases we always prefer canal wall up such a with preservation of the posterior bone of the external dura canal to have waterproof here in the future and all the benefits of the close technique. But in some patients, the cholesteatoma is so big, so so dispersed in many areas that we think maybe in this case it is better to to, to remove this wall to have open technique and 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 a much lower recurrence of cholestoma, of cholestoma. So I think it's in in such patients. Um, when we have this new tool, which we hope will improve our results, uh, we will, in some cases, maybe decide for canal wall, canal wall, wall, wall up technique. Good. Next question. How long does it take to dissolve the disulfide connection after applying the Mesna solution? I guess this question has to do a little bit with the questions, uh, the two questions before, where we were talking about the time, because the Mesna, Mm, dissolves in before you pre when you prepare the cartridge, you, the mesna, the powder dissolves with the liquid. So you just uh, shake, it. shake it a little mm -hmm. bit and then it's done. It doesn't take that long. And when you apply it into the surgical field, is when we were talking about this waiting time, which is at least three minutes in the beginning. Yeah. I think this is the question. Mm -hmm. No, I, this is. Um, and another question from the same Dr. Locke is, can you use the CADI system to remove cholesteatoma from the facial nerve if there is no bony coverage, if there is a dehiscence of the facial nerve? I think that the answer will be the same as with the dura. So we do it, but we are very delicate here, not too long, but we use it. Of course, we, we, we must remember about this, um, uh, the edge of this instrument, not to press, to, to the first, just do it to very gently, very gently. But so I, you, 
You will do the dissection as any other facial nerve dehiscence with your instruments being very accurate and you will not have any problem pouring the liquid, the mesna, on the dehiscent facial nerve, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Let's see if there is any other question. I don't see any other question, but I, I have one more question if uh, I'm allowed to ask as well. And it, it's, uh, it, it, it has been shown in the chat as well uh, previously to the other speaker, to Dr. Professor Covello, is which is your safety profile? How safe do you feel with CADIS system while doing uh, cholesteatoma surgery? Question as they did you, uh, Professor Covelli, which is the safe profile of the of the CADIS system? So in our opinion, it, it is safe. We, we, we have not observed any negative, any adverse reactions. Mm -hmm. So you feel you feel pretty safe as well using it. Right? Yes, we can we can say also that we have some experience from many years with with this substance with the mess now. We have mm -hmm. used in our department from few years, but not in this exact system. Uh, uh, so we have also not observed any negative reaction. Uh, now, when we have this special system, uh, we can see that it is better because it is prepared a special device. So so it is better. But generally speaking, we have not observed any negatives for, for this uh, solution for this substance in, in the intermediate year. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Completely agree with you. I think we are done with the questions. I don't see any other question uh, from the audience. Okay, Thank, thanks a lot uh, for all these discussions. So I, I guess it's now time to close the webinar on the CADIS system. Just as a quick Sorry, uh, one moment, Valerie, it just came up one question. Just go on, Dr. Sandoval. Okay. Next question is if it gets absorbed in blood, is there any side effect? So this is perhaps a question for Oxin then. <laughs> uh, so we know that uh, the, 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 the Mesna, again, the Mesna uh, drug substance is a very well known drug substance. It has been used in uh, pharmaceutical application. It's uh, usually administered in uh, intravenous um, pharmaceutical administration. Uh, and the, this uh, mesna drug substance is the very small molecules, completely soluble in water, uh, very rapidly eliminated uh, from, the, from the blood. The, the, so there is absolutely no uh, safety issue uh, regarding a blood resorption of this uh, drug substance. Mm -hmm. Is using a concomitant therapy with a chemotherapy to reduce as well side effects of chemotherapy and intravesically as well for a ureterial cancer. So it's quite safe. Absolutely. Okay, so again, thanks if uh, there is no more uh, questions. So just uh, as a reminder, so, so this CADI system is complementary to your current practice. Uh, it has to be used just in critical step of your dissection when you have a risk of damaging critical structure with an increased risk of intraoperative complication to facilitate the removal of the pathological tissue from the surrounding structure or to allow the complete removal of this uh, pathological tissue when there is a risk to leave debris in the surgical field. Uh, of course, the team of uh, Oxin surgery remain at your disposal for any further information. Uh, we will not close uh, this webinar without warmly thanking uh, our two moderators and lecturers who have already built their experience with the CADI system and kindly accepted to share uh, their expertise with us today. Uh, I, I see there is a, again a new questions. Uh, we will answer to you uh, via email just to, to not take uh, time of, uh, more time of, uh, of everybody. Uh, so don't worry, we will come back uh, to you. Uh, and so just finally, I would like to thank uh, again the audience uh, for your attention and your interest uh, expressed in the sum of questions we have received. Uh, goodbye, have a wonderful evening and thanks again for this uh, webinar. Thank you. Thank you very much, you. goodbye. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.
Bye.